Hi, my name is Nick, and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to use the post announcements inside Microsoft Teams. Uh, this is a super easy feature to use, um, but can have a pretty powerful effect when communicating inside your channels and Teams. Um, so guys, if you do find this useful, do go ahead and tap that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Um, and with that said, let's jump on over to Microsoft Teams and I'll show you just how to use uh, these post announcements. Okay, so here we are just inside Microsoft Teams. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a, an announcement post for one of our channels here. Uh, and it's going to hopefully stand out amongst all the other kind of chatter that we have going on inside our post feed section of the general channel. So as you can see, um, inside the That Office Guy uh, team and the general channel. And what I'm going to do is create a uh, sorry, a, um, a post announcement um, that is going to utilize uh, a lot more of functionality than just a standard message. So in order to do this, we're gonna go is click on the a new conversation button just at the bottom of the screen here. This is then gonna obviously start a new conversation for this particular channel. And the first thing that we need to do is go ahead and click on the format button, um, which is the first option on the far left-hand side. Uh, which looks like a little A with a pencil mark. So if we give that a click, and then this will open and expand uh, the communication box. Now, uh, obviously as a standard, you get the ability to add a subject and add a conversation, tag people, etc. Now, the very first option that you see here is called new conversation, and there's a little toggle drop down menu. So if we give that a, a click, we can see that there's the ability now to go from a new conversation to an announcement. So if we click on announcement, uh, this then changes uh, the, the communication style as well. So now we have a headline, a subheading, and then the actual body of the message that we'd like to send out. So what do we have here and how do we use them? So the headline can be a piece of text, you know, it can literally just be, um, you know, here is a test, for example, right, as a headline, and you can change the color of the background, right? So there's a color option here, we can change that to, to being a really bright color so it gets people's attention. Um, but also on the far right hand side here, you have the ability to actually add a background image. Um, so basically upload an image to get the best result, choose an image that's at least 918 pixels by 120 pixels. Um, so what we're gonna do is upload an image here. So I'm gonna click uh, upload an image and I'm gonna just go find an image inside uh, one of my other channels here. Um, so I'll just go with this one, this one, yeah, this will do the job. Um, so this one's called, called talking about kind of subscribing, right, uh, to the channel. So there's a couple of things that we can do. We can obviously zoom in, we can pan this around, we can adjust it however we want. Um, but it does have to sit within this little window of 918 by 120 pixels. Um, so for me, I think um, I, I might just uh, leave it like that uh, or somewhere like there. It's not perfect. I would have scaled this image um, differently for this particular purpose. Um, so, you know, if you know these parameters of 918 pixels by 120 pixels, you could go ahead and create uh, a whole host of different uh, customized artwork using something like Photoshop. Um, and, you know, you'll have perfect fit uh, banner style images that you can just upload straight into your announcements. Um, but I'm just going to use this generic image here and I'm just going to keep it somewhere in the middle there. And once you're happy, you just click on done. Now you can see here that this uh, this announcement, this post announcement, has this image uh, just in the background here, which you know gets people's attention a lot more efficiently than a lot of these other posts when they come through. It's just a bit, uh, you know, wordy, right? This basically then just makes it stand out that little bit extra. Um, and again, you know, if you don't want the image, you can take the image off and just leave a color. Um, so you know, sometimes uh, you know, an orange is really a good color to go for very vibrant, but you do have lots of different colors to go with uh, here. So I'm just gonna stick with orange for this test, and I'm gonna call this, uh, you know, here is a test as the main headline. Then I'm gonna come down to this subheading, um, and I can say in it, subheading uh, test line, here really, um, you know, 
and really thinking about it. Um, and then obviously the second uh, or the third section here is all about the communication that you would actually like to send out inside your channel here. So um, we can just say um, some text here. Um, and obviously, you know, I'm just being really gen generic here, but you guys can obviously, you know, do a lot more with this than, than I can demonstrate for you guys. But um, basically, yeah, you know, you have those three stepped approaches. Um, I would personally would say use images. Images would, um, you know, ultimately have more engagement than just a color. Um, but, you know, you do have to make sure you're within that 918 by 120 pixel scenario. Um, I don't have an image that really makes it stand out, but this will do for me for now and this example. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we can have the next option here is that everyone can reply to your post uh, announcement. Now, obviously, if we toggle that down, we can have that as only moderators um, or yourself can apply uh, or reply um, to the announcement. Now, obviously, you might wanna use this if it's a company-wide kind of announcement, um, then you're ultimately gonna to want to potentially limit the amount of feedback um, to you know, maybe team leaders or managers uh, who would be moderators within that particular team. So, you know, you do have the ability to adjust that as needed. Uh, I'll leave this open to everyone, um, but sometimes you might want to lock that down uh, a little bit further. And then the last option before you go ahead and actually customize it further or post it is whether you'd want this to be a, an announcement that goes out to multiple different channels and multiple different teams. So if I give that a click, um, we can see here is it's going to be addressed to the that office guy team general channel. And then over here on the right hand side, you can actually select additional channels. So you get this little pop up box and you can see it spans all of the um, teams that you're in. So it's not necessarily uh, just about uh, the um, teams that you are uh, actually uh, you know, posting in directly. You know, a lot of people might think you could only do it uh, as in that office guy because it's in the general uh, location. You can only do it to that office guy's other channels. But actually, you know, you can send this uh, across into all of these other channels and other teams uh, as you see fit. Okay, and uh, I can then click on update. Uh, and now it's going across uh, all of the channels here. So this one post um, this one announcement, if it's a company-wide announcement, is going to go absolutely everywhere. Um, and I have this as everyone can reply, um, but in that case, I might actually then say only moderators, only team leaders or managers can reply um, to this announcement. Now, and once you're happy, uh, you know, there's a few other things here you might want to look at. So uh, I might want to set this as an important message in which case I can do that too. Um, if I wanted to, I could also, you know, add a table in here or whatever it might be that I want to do. And um, you do get a lot of additional functionality and you can also, um, you know, undo things and repeats and uh, move the flag status or whatnot. So do go ahead and kind of, you know, mess around with, with the post announcements in this regard, because there's a lot you can do with them. Um, and once you're happy with it, you go ahead and just click on the send button. And that's going to go ahead and actually send this announcement out uh, into all of the channels, um, all of the teams. Uh, and you can see here that I actually tagged this as important. Uh, so you get the important flag. If I didn't tag it as important, it would have just had the announcement uh, flag as well. Uh, so you'd have both of those on there. And also you have uh, the header, the subheader, the importance, and all of the body uh, data to this communication. Now, a reply that happens in, in this channel uh, is not seen in the other channels. So here's the same communication from the test channel one. If I send a reply here, um, you know, this reply is not gonna be seen uh, inside the general channel here. Um, instead, you have general specific um, communications going on, okay? So all of the, the notifications go through to the activity feed across all of these. But if I go into so this one, you can see this, it's here, uh, it's in uh, that channel, it's in that channel, it's in that channel, and so forth, right? It's in all of the channels. I posted it everywhere. Um, and I even posted it inside this private channel because I'm a member of that private channel as well. So guys, a lot of things that you can do with post announcements and multi-channel posting. Um, and I find these are really, really useful in, in terms of getting people's attention, getting people's engagement, um, et cetera. So I do urge you guys, test this out, see how you get on using 
um, you know, post announcements. Try using post announcements across multiple channels um, and you know, even tagging individuals in that, uh, that post is also a really good way to kind of increase your engagement. So guys, hopefully you guys found this useful and informative. If you did, do go ahead and hit that like button for me and, and consider subscribing to the channel. Um, and with that said, I will catch you guys in the next video.